from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top series. Health officials keeping a close eye on the coronavirus numbers following the long Easter holiday weekend. There's still some concern that the country could be headed for a third wave despite the vaccination program that is now in place. Monday's numbers are still to come in, but there were cases reported for the previous four days. 28 on Thursday, 35 on Friday, 16 on Saturday, 13 on Sunday. They were spread over a number of islands, a total of 92 cases for the period, more than half of them in the capital. There was another confirmed death in the period, taking the total to 189 now, and hospitalizations continue to creep up, and that's a worry. There are now 36 persons in hospital being treated for the virus, three of them in the ICU. Health officials say if we continue on this current trend, there is reason for concern, and they are again urging persons to follow the protocols despite the vaccination. Vaccinations will resume today in the capital and in Grand Bahama. No reports of any major breaches over the weekend. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police involved in another fatal shooting incident over the holiday weekend. Officers shot and killed a man facing murder charges who had just been released on bail. The incident in the Nassau Village area on Friday, and police say they shot the man during a foot chase in the area when one of two men they were chasing fired a gun at officers. Relatives of the victim are questioning the police version of the incident. As with all police-involved shootings, the matter has been turned over to the coroner for an investigation. There was one murder reported over the holiday period. 51-year-old Anthony Rowe was shot and killed while playing dominoes here in the capital on Sunday. Now, the traffic fatality in Abaco, this time a man died after he was thrown from the back of a moving truck on the S.C. Boodle Highway in the area of Cooperstown. Signs that the tourism industry is reviving quite nicely, an estimated 60,000 visitors for March. Good sign for Tourism Minister Diagulo, but he remains cautiously optimistic. There are ebbs and flows. Easter, of course, is a, an important travel holiday, and so we are seeing an uptick. But as I've said, from here to the end of the year, there's going to be a gradual increase in cases, assuming we don't have to go into any sort of further restrictive measures. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a surface of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Sunny skies today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport. 78 in the capital. 81 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. The next high is a low around 11 this morning. Next high about 4 this afternoon. Clear skies tonight. Lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, Russian President Putin has signed a law that will allow him to remain in office until 2036. The high-profile trial of the former police officer charged in connection with the death of George Floyd in the U.S. And as its second week, now the trial is getting plenty of media attention around the world. And some countries continue to deal with the coronavirus spread. More than 100,000 new cases per day being reported in India our country is facing serious issues as a result. In South America, Colombia's capital city, Bogota, is headed for a lockdown to try and slow the spread of the virus there. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 481, SO 485, Rubens $4.85 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Good start for Jazz Chisholm in Major League Baseball. The season is underway. 
Tribune Sports has the latest on what he did in the first Marlins series. Meantime, another Bahamian signs with the Marlins. Find out who he is. There's a new record in the decathlon for us. Read about that in the Tribune Sports. The Suns continue to win in the NBA. They won again last night, beating the Rockets. DeAndre Ayton with 27 points, tying his season high. Six wins in a row for Phoenix. And find out who won the college basketball championships over the weekend in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.